How are you? Good, Pretty good. How about you guys? Good. good. You ready? Yeah. Yes. How's, uh, you guys have some really good size at corner. How's that uh, been helping, especially going up against guys like Bobo who are so big? Uh, I think it helps a lot, you know. Just improves the defense overall, you know, being able to physically match up with anybody. How's the battle going? I know you guys are kind of fighting for starting jobs. How would you say you're fitting in right now? Uh, you know, just getting better every day. That's up to the coach, you know, at the end of the day. Yeah. You feel pretty confident in what you've done in camp? Uh, yeah, I'm always confident. <laughs> <laughs> Since you arrived here, tell us just a little bit about the process of, of you learning the scheme, getting up to speed physically. Um, first year, you didn't do that much, and then at the end of last season, you got some playing time. Uh, yeah, I think it's all just a process, you know. Trying to rush the process, that's not going to help you. So you just got to take the process head on and grow every day. You know, There's a lot to learn from. Thinking, you know, I thought I knew it all, but I didn't. <laughs> But now I'm learning a lot, so I'm getting better every day. What were some of the things you had to learn? Uh, you know, my, I tightened up my coverage, you know, learning all the different, you know, offensive formations, and becoming a smarter football player overall. Yeah. We've heard from some guys that, that Kirkwood's one of the biggest crack talkers on the team. Is that you using that as you kind of go down that route at all? Uh, nah, I'm more just by show by example, make plays. Is there a lot of competition between you and Devin? You guys about the same height, kind of play alike. Would you say you're competitive between each other? Uh, no, I don't think we really compete with each other. I do a lot of compete with ourselves. It seemed like at the beginning of practice, at least from what we could see, media, you were um, like working with the. Uh, threes or fours, but then today we saw you kind of working with the ones. Is, are you moving all around? Or are they moving you and Devin back and forth a bit? Uh, hey, I don't know. <laughs> are you getting time with the ones? Definitely. Yeah, okay. Definitely. How has Azizi Hearn uh, influenced you at all? What has he done since he's been here for you? Uh, Azizi, he's a great player. You know, he personally has an influence me. Know, but he's a great player. That's a good player. How good do you think this defense can be this season? How, how can the secondary improve from last season, do you think? I think we can become one of the top secondaries in the country. We just got to keep getting better every day. Okay. Thanks, so. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thank you. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Your second camp, has it been more kind of It's been really good lately. Been been a lot more progress this year, way more consistent, a lot better than I did last year. I feel like I've grown a lot more as a player over the offseason into fall camp. And this fall camp this year, I feel like I've shown that. I've grown as a person and as a player, and I'm being a leader to my teammates that are same age as me, older, and to the younger players that came in. Besides the leadership, how would you say you've grown as a player? Uh, my coverage has gotten way better. I've been more consistent with my with my man coverage, more consistent on my off coverage too. Knowing the down and distance, being able to key in on certain plays to make to make great breaks on the ball, and it's just helped with Coach McGovern that he trusts and believes in me. So. That that helps amplify my game even more, and he lets me do. He lets me be me. Uh, we've heard some guys, and you talked about it before, it's kind of the trash talk that you have out here in the practice field, just competing with teammates. What does that give to you, like the, the juice that kind of gives you out here? <laughs> uh, so when I trash talk, it doesn't really mean nothing, but it's like it gives me energy. I feed off a of trash talk. And like when people talk trash to me, it just it amplifies my game even more because it feels like you now you like I want to prove something to you. Now I gotta show you how I really am. So in practice, when we be trash talking, they be like, okay, like now I'm really about to, I'm really about to show you who I am and just keep going out there and locking you up. That's that's an everyday thing. Is there any time in the locker room after you kind of have to go up zone and be like, hey, like that was just in the moment? Uh, no, not really, because they understand. Like when we're on practice, we're not friends. When we're on the field, we're not friends. It's defense versus offense, but 
I still love my brothers. Even though we on opposite sides during practice, but I still love them. So when we trash talk, it just be all fun and games. And then we off the field, we like family. They might give it back to you good on the offense? Oh yeah, who, of who, course. Who, who's good at going out? Uh, Dorian, Dorian loves talking trash to me. Uh, Ethan Garbers loves talking trash. Jake Bobo, you know, Bobo loves talking trash to me. Titus, that's my guy. Titus, he talks trash to me every day. We go at it even off of, off of the field. We just be talking trash to each other every day. Uh, me, Tit it was Titus, Cam Brown, Cass, Cass Allen, he always talking trash to me. So basically, the whole office be talking trash to me. Do you have like, anyone else defensively who's supporting you and you're trash talking, or is it just you versus the entire office? Oh, nah. My whole my whole defense be with me. Okay. All my brothers ride with me. Like Blaylock, Stephen Blaylock, uh, Mo Osling, John Humphrey, Azizi, uh, who was Croy, Alex Johnson, all my dogs, Kenny Churchwell, they all be talking trash with me because as soon as some break out or anything that happens between us, we make sure like we got our we got our brothers back before anything else. That's family orientated. Got some good size on you. How's that help you going up against somebody like Bobo? Uh, it helps a lot because it's like I'm six three, six three, six four, and Bobo's like six four, six five. So it makes it easier for me, and it and it makes it like he has to he has to deal with my wide frame. So it was like, I'm not, I might not be the biggest, like in size, but like my length, I play to my ability. Cause it's like, okay, we both might be big, but if I know how to box you out, like you know how to box me out, I feel like I have a great advantage on that. And I just play to my ability. How are you physically? Where do you want to be in terms of, of, of weight at this point? Uh, Right now I want to be around, I'm 197 right now. I want to be like 200 when the season start. So I can I can gain three pounds by then, but really right now I love my weight. Like my weight's really good. Perform at a great level. Run. I feel good. My breaks. I feel more explosive than I was last year. Make better plays. And I'm always in the right position now. Like everything has just been great for me. You guys seem to be doing a lot of mix and matching. Who's with the ones, twos, threes, etc. Do you feel like you know you've got one of those starting spots locked up at one? Uh, to be honest, right now I feel like I do. But I, you still got to prove everything every day. You still got to prove it. But I feel like I, I've shown myself and my skills this whole fall camp. I've continually showed up every day on the film. And so is my brothers, Jalen Davies, Azizi, John Humphrey. They've all showed up on the film too. But we just got to keep working as a unit. Just keep balling out. At the end of the day, it don't matter ones, twos. If you playing and you balling, you're going to play. So you just got to make sure we know our assignments. When you said Coach McGovern is letting you be you, what does that mean specifically? Is he letting you press more? Are you out on an island more? Are you <laughs> at, at the boundary? I mean, what, what does that mean? Uh, he just lets me be me. Like me and me and Coach McGovern, we we like that's like my like my uncle. Like he <laughs> talks to me every. We talk every day. We crack jokes, and we we hype each other up every day to go out there and better each other. Like he got to make some great calls, and I got to go out there and play the best defense I can for him. But by him letting me be me. Like, he lets me go out there trash talk. He lets me go out there and compete to my full ability. Like, play man press, off man. He just, whenever I, whenever I step out there, he banking on me. He put his money down on me, and I, and I put my money down on him whenever he out there. Pretty big age difference between you and, and McGovern. You guys have fun with that at all? Talk about, like, old movies. You know what you're talking about? Uh, not really, but he just be, he crack jokes all the time. And, I look up to him a lot because he gives me great, great intel on everything, on how I should play, how I should control my press, how I should line, how I should play at the line of scrimmage, how I should always maintain my leverage, how I should always be top shoulder on certain routes, how in a red zone, play bottom shoulder, top shoulder, middle of the field. He's just helped me e express my game in ways I wasn't able to do last year. So now when I demonstrate it, it just looks like poetry. Would you say he has a lot of interaction with the secondary? Oh, of course. He he loves the secondary. He loves the he loves the he loves the outside backers. He loves the inside backers. He loves the whole defense. But the secondary, he loves us a lot. He loves everybody on our defense the most. Cause it's like he wants everybody to be great. Cause you'll never know when your time comes. So you're gonna have to play. Everybody has to stay ready. Everybody has to know their name, name assignments. Where they going? What gap they gotta fill? What covers they gotta play? We just all gotta know. We just gotta keep communicating. 
We've seen uh, Coach Kelly in the DB drills the past couple of days throwing passes. You, uh, is, has he helped you out there? Obviously, he's more on the offensive field most of the time, but how's that been? Oh, that's my guy. Coach, Coach is my guy. Like, Coach Chip, he, he's the reason why I came here. He was one of the reasons why I came here. He's helped me out dramatically. Like, our relationship is really good. And he, him on a, him coming, throwing the ball to us, it be meaning a lot because it shows that he's not just an offensive, offensive coach. He's also a defensive coach too. He helps, he helps me understand schemes on the offensive side, understanding the down and distance on certain things on like how I should talk to refs, on communications, making sure that when I'm in, I don't do nothing to jeopardize our team on the defensive side. So making sure that I always have a good relationship with the refs, ask them what can I, what can I do what should I do to look for when I'm playing? Like if I can do certain things at the line of scrimmage that I, that, that won't get called and how I should play my coverage. Cause sometimes it get, people get a little handsy and they let me know what, what, what is allowed and what's not allowed. He helps me understand how the receivers break in and out there, in and out their cuts on how I should get out my breaks. Helps me understand it down the distance even more. Still put some good zip on the ball. Oh yeah, that man, that man he, he be zipping the ball in there. He threw me one today. Awesome. Thank, Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you all.